Hey, I'm Diane from the Woolmet Public Library, and I'm here to tell you how to do your Seed Heads Steam Kit. So, in your Steam Kit, which was in this paper bag, you have two plastic cups, a bag of soil, a bag of wheatgrass seeds, and some sticky eyes, nose, and mouths to decorate your Seed Head cups with. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is actually decorate your cups. Okay, so they're going to be like faces, okay? And then the, the grass that grows is going to be like the hair. So um, I'm going to work on mine. And also, oh, you might want to have some like extra things to decorate with. This is like sequins that has sticky backs on it. And these are flowers. And I have a little uh, pipe cleaner. And I have a little construction paper. Oh, so you also might want to have with you... Um, you know, scissors, tape, and you're going to have to water your plant. So, I'll let you get started. I, well, I'm going to go get started and decorate my cups first. So, I decorated the cups. Can you see the faces? This one is wearing headphones. And I actually, it, it's a piece of paper that's actually taped right on there. And this one has ears, special ears. So, that's the way I had a little bit of fun. Do I, oh yeah, do I have both ears? Yeah. So I had a little fun. So you have fun too. I know some of you will really get into that. So what you're gonna do now is fill the cups with soil. And you would fill it probably close to the top, but you need to save room for the seeds and then the soil on top. So I'm gonna fill them up. Just, I'm using an old spoon. Something that I don't mind if it gets dirty. And I'm just filling the cups, sort of the top. And the, the soil is a little bit dry, so you might want to put a newspaper down so that it, you know, um, captures all of the little dust balls that fall down. Okay, so that one is kind of close to the top, okay? Maybe a centimeter from the top. And I'm going to put soil in this one. Now you'll have plenty of soil for both of them, okay? So don't worry about that. Okay. Now, now you're going to put the seed. So you sort of pat it down a little bit like that, you know, like doo 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 doo. Okay. Now you have the ba your bag of wheatgrass seeds, and you have plenty of seeds, but you want to put a put a a pretty good amount on top. So I'm just taking a handful like this, okay? And I'm putting, sort of just sort of, sort of sprinkling it on. And it's gonna get pretty thick on top, okay? And that's okay. It's okay if the seeds are really close together. Put some more seeds. Okay, there. So, and sort of give them a little shake. And then you're going to put more soil on top to make sure. And just sort of lay a nice, I don't know, half a centimeter on top. Just like a, you know, not, you don't want to see any of the seeds. You know, you would definitely want to cover them. But don't cover them too much that, you know, they're, it'll just take them a little bit longer to grow, you know, if they're too far down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, and now. What do plants need? They need soil, sun, and water. So we need to water them. So you can get a little cup of water, or you could also use a spray bottle. Okay, so I'm gonna just show you both. So if you spray the top, maybe six or seven times, make sure it's pretty moist. Okay, that works. And another, or just take a little cup of water. This is a little paper cup, and I'm just sort of gently pouring them and give it a little time, it'll soak in. It might not soak in right away because it's seed starter soil, which means it's a little fluffier. It takes a while for it to go down. Okay, now, this is where the fun science part starts. You get to decide where am I going to put my plants. Let's think about this. You could put one of them in a sunny spot, and you could put the other one in a shady spot. And then, you could start to like, observe, well, which one of these grows the fastest? 
and you could write down your observations in a notebook because you this is very sci you know scientific. That's what scientists do. So you say maybe you write down one. That's like the first day you saw some little sprouts. Well, you're probably not going to be able to measure them too well. So you're probably going to start measuring it when it gets to about a centimeter, okay? But you can notice which one comes first. So then maybe on day, the first day that it gets to one centimeter, you write down day one, day one, one centimeter. And then you might want to do it on the next day. And you can see if it grew, if it grew in 24 hours. So then you would measure it again. And you can go ahead and write down. So maybe it didn't grow, so you write one centimeter. Or maybe it grew like a half a centimeter, so you could say one and a half centimeters. And then you could, you, I, would, I would record for like maybe up to like, I don't know, nine days. They should start sprouting after two days. The other things you can do, you can make sure that, okay, so what do plants need to grow, right? They need, they need soil, they need a certain amount of sun, and they need water. So you could vary, now we, we varied the sun, you could vary the water. You could make one of them really wet and keep it really wet all the time. And the other one, you could give it just enough soil. So you could vary that. Another thing you could do is, let's see, you could put one in a cold place, maybe in your basement or I don't know, you could try the refrigerator, I guess, uh, somewhere cooler, and then put the other one in a hotter place. Another interesting thing you could do, and I'm just going to set these aside, is you could, you could experiment with sprouting the seeds. And you, what's a sprouted seed, you ask? Well, I'll show you. You take, and you take a paper towel and you wet it. And the reason you're wetting it is you want the, the sprouts you want the seeds to sprout and they need water. So you spray or get the paper towel wet and then you lay a handful of seeds on it. All right. Can you see that? And then you fold it over and press and get it nice and wet. And then you put it in a plastic bag. I'm gently going to put it in this Ziploc bag. And then, after a couple days, you're going to see little tiny shoots. And once they start to shoot, you see the green shoots, you go ahead and plant them then. Okay, so those are called sprouted seeds. And then, what you can do is the other cup can be just um, seeds that you just plant without sprouting them. So, you can compare. You could also compare the color of the, the, the greenery because this is going to grow like hair, okay? It's really cool looking. Compare the color. Maybe one's really light green, one's darker green, and maybe try to figure out why. And you could write all your, your um, scientific notes down. Then you could even put it on a graph. And this could be maybe for the older kids. And I put... Um, I put all the days at the bottom, so I, I um, recorded for 10 days, and then I put the height that each of the cups was, okay? So this cup in red, this, this red line, was the cup that was in the sun. I'm just kind of, this is a pretend one, right? And I'm pretending, and this is the cup that was maybe grown in, in a different condition, okay? So two different conditions, two different lines, and um, I'll let you look at that. Okay, so that's maybe something you want to do, or you just want to just look at it. You don't need to graph it or write anything down. You could just notice it, okay, because that's what scientists do. They notice things. All right, I hope that helps you out and that you're able to have some fun with your seed heads and enjoy all of it. And if you have um, any successes or comments, just let us know. We'd love to hear from you. You can email us call us, and we'd love to hear from you. Okay, bye-bye kids.